What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. And today I'm going to be taking on Erika and Ephraim's Bound Hero Battle. So this actually got a rerun and I'm going to be using free to play units to beat this map on the Infernal difficulty. And I will also show you guys how to complete all of the quests which have come with this Bound Hero Battle in a single match to obtain all 5 orbs from it. And I actually did make a video when this Bound Hero Battle originally came out, but I did use Brave Lane in that. So that's why I'm redoing it uh, with free to play units. I actually have another solution which just uses uh, 4 star units. But the problem with that is that I've got 2 non free to play units in that. So that's why I've put that solution at the end of this video. So if you do not have a 5 star Arvis or if you're not able to do this with this team. Then you can also refer to that solution to get an idea. And these solutions will give you an idea on how to approach the map. So let's begin with the Infernal Difficulty. So we have got Fiorm and she's the 5 star unit which everyone has. And then I've got my Olivia. And you need to give her Hone Speed 1 Sacred Seal. And this is the Sacred Seal which we got from the last month's Tempest Trial. And then I've got my Riss. And as you guys will see, Riss is actually going to be helping quite a lot. And at the end I've got Arvis. So Green Tomb Breaker 1 is the only Skeletons I've used with this video. And it's extremely minimal. You can get that from a 3 star Henry. And Henry is a pretty easy unit to get. And if you do not have Henry then you can also run Quick Repose 1. And if you do not have any of those skills then you can just have Speed plus 3 slot a skill. And Speed plus 1 Sacred Seal. And that would do the job. So let's begin with the Infernal Difficulty and let's do this. So Fiorm actually helps a lot in these kinds of Bound Hero Battles and Grand Hero Battles. Sure, in Arena, she might not be that impressive, but uh, in this, like, in-game content, having a blue distant counter unit is actually really helpful. So here we have got Eric and Ephraim. They both have got their Moonbow ready, and Ephraim has got insanely inflated HP, and he has got Obstruct, so you can just trap your units and prevent them from escaping, and then just take them out, and uh, he can hit extremely hard. So he's a pretty hard unit to take out. Erika not so much because she still has um, average defense and she has got inflated HP and she also has armored blow. And then we have got this blue mage with blade tome, guard and uh, attack smoke which could be annoying. And another blade tome unit in this uh, green cavalier with defined attack. So he can be a big nuisance if he's below 50% HP because of his defined attack. And the fact that he has got immense reach as you can see he can pretty much cover the whole map. And then we have got this thief. And he has got Panic Ploy, so if you put any kind of unit on this tile, then he's going to be able to Panic Ploy that unit. And 50 HP is actually pretty high, so if you do not have um, a unit who has got more HP than this Thief, then they're going to get Panic Ployed, and then they will get attacked by these Mages. And at last, we've got the Sword Cavalier, which is not really that big of a deal, so he's got Darting Blow and Lunge. So let's begin, yes. and let's put Fjorm here in the range of uh, this Thief and these Mages. What's your gambit? And... Uh, you need to make sure that Fiorm gets the Bone Speed support from Olivia, it's very important. So now, this Thief is gonna be attacking us. This Thief does not really pack a punch, but he can be annoying because he can double pretty much all of your units and then have Poison Strike damage on you. So if you do not have the Hone Speed support on your Fiorm, then this Green Cavalier is going to be attacking you instead, um, instead of this uh, Blue Mage. Because after receiving the Hone Speed buff, um, Fiorm has got 33 speed, which is just enough to double this Green Cavalier. So this Green Cavalier will not be attacking this Fiorm, and instead this Blue Mage will attack her. So this Blue Mage has been debuffed quite a lot because of Arvis's ploys. So Arvis can ploy pretty much every unit on this map. Other than um, this uh, Sword Cavalier and this Green Cavalier. What's your so gift? time to fall back and let's break this obstacle. Borders, please. Well, and we can well. just heal up um, right. the arm back to full HP. So she's going to be able to take out um, these two units who have been weakened. And because of the ploys, uh, this blue mage does not do as much damage to Fiorm, and she's able to survive pretty easily actually. So Arvis's ploy uh, support Fiorm a lot on this map. And Erika and Ephraim have been divided, 
So this green cavalier is the reason why we have got green tone breaker on Arvis. And we're just gonna be moving Fiorm here and putting Arvis in the range of this green cavalier. So this guy is gonna get home speed support from Erika and then he's gonna be ending up at 32 speed. So if you end up with Arvis having 37 speed, then he's gonna be able to naturally outspeed this green cavalier. And you do not need green tone breaker or quick repose at that point, but it still helps. So we can heal up. Uh, Fearm back to full HP, and uh, Arvis can easily take out this uh, Green Cavalier. Alright, so down he goes, and uh, now what I can do is just put Arvis here so that he can ploy Erika next turn as well. As you can see, Erika has been debuffed quite a lot, and uh, we can just heal up Arvis. And Fiorm can easily take on Erika because she has been debuffed and she's not going to be able to do much damage. If this is war, so be I actually don't recall any kind of Sacred Stones map which looked like this. Because the maps are from the game um, of the units which you are fighting against. So because of Arvis's defense ploy, Fiorm is actually able to take out Erika. Without that, Fionn would not have been able to take out Erika. What's your and now we can just attack Ephraim. <laughs> Ephraim has got Fury, so you can just uh, weaken him down with his own Fury by attacking with ranged units. So that's good. Okay. And I'm gonna be putting my Olivia here so that Arvis is not exposed to this Sword Cavalier. And as you can see, Arvis is not able to finish off Ephraim, but here, Old Man Riss is gonna help, and uh, he's gonna slow down this Ephraim with his slow staff, and this is gonna have minus 6 speed debuff on Ephraim, which is enough so that Arvis can outspeed Ephraim and take him out. So, Riss actually helped a lot in taking out uh, Ephraim. And now we only have the Sword Cavalier, and Olivia can easily survive. Even if you've got a minus uh, defense or minus HP IV Olivia, she's gonna be able to survive. This is actually a neutral Olivia, and this is also a neutral Riz, if you're wondering. Of course. Yes. Alright, so that was the Infernal Difficulty Solution, and we completed that infantry quest. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all of the quests in a single match. So this is the team which I'm going to be using. I know I've got 5-star Sharina and 5-star Anna, but I've given them the stuff which they have as a 4-star unit. So I'm pretty sure this is also going to work with 4-star uh, Anna and Sharina. And uh, we've got Fionn once again and Riss. So let's begin the Lunatic Difficulty and let's do all of the quests. If the AI movement does change, then uh, you can easily manage that because Fiorm just pretty much takes out all of the enemies. So we do not have that thief here because he's just an extra enemy for infernal Order's difficulty. Open. And we can break this obstacle Let's and Sharina go. can rally up Fiorm for some attack. And Fiorm can easily take on these mages. On the Lunar difficulty, um, this green cavalier actually gets outsped by Fiorm. So if the AI movement is different, you can just uh, do some small changes and you're still going to be able to do that because uh, Fiorm takes on most of the things on this map. So let's attack the Sword Cavalier. And we can just put Fiorm here and heal her up with Riss and just wait. Also, Erika does not have Moonbow on the Lunatic difficulty. And Ephraim does not have Pivot. So they have been toned down a bit. So Fiorm is going to be able to take out this blue mage. And uh, here comes Erika. 
And we can just have uh, Sharina in the range of Erika. And heal up Sharina for a bit. And wait. And because Erika does not have Moonbow, it's much easier to deal with her. So we do need to take um, Erika out with uh, Sharina. And once again, we're gonna take help of the old man Res with his slow staff. And now... Let's go! A 4-star Sharina is not gonna be able to double this Erika, but you can just have Spur Speed Sacred Seal on Anna and Hone Speed Sacred Seal on Riss, and then you'll be able to outspeed that Erika pretty easily. And let's have uh, Anna in the range of Ephraim. Because Anna has got pretty low base attack, she's not able to do that much. And um, yes. she's actually not able to finish off Ephraim because she Orders, gets knocked please. out Glad on the counter attack. So let's heal her up and let's take out Ephraim. Damn, Anna definitely destroyed Ephraim. So that's how you can complete all of the quests in a single match. And now I'm going to be showing you guys another solution um, to the Infernal difficulty with 4 star units. But like I said, it does have 2 uh, non free to play units and this is that team. And uh, you can replace Klein with any kind of Brave Bow Archer actually. And if you've got a properly built 5 star Brave Bow Archer, then it's pretty easy for you actually. And uh, you need to take off Hone Speed Sacred Seal on your Olivia. And this is a completely neutral Olivia. And then we have got Nino. Now you just need to give Escape Route 1 to your Nino, it's pretty easy to get because you can have that from a 4 star Marth or 3 star Cecilia and uh, Nino is also a pretty easy unit to get because she can appear as a 3 star and a 4 star unit so a lot of people will have her and uh, this is a plus attack minus HP IV Nino and if you're missing any kind of power then I guess you can just um, run attack plus 3 sacred seal or attack plus 3 slot is skill and uh, Klein is plus speed and minus HP as well. And then uh, I've got another Olivia. This is also completely neutral Olivia. You do actually get two neutral Olivias from these special maps. So I'm going to be using two Dancers, one Brave Bow Archer and Nino. So let's begin with the Infernal Difficulty. And I know for a lot of people this might be much more easier to replicate. Because a lot of people have got Brave Bow Archers. So let's begin. And uh, we can just break this obstacle with Klein. Move Nino here. You want to keep Nino away from Olivia because this uh, thief has got panic ploy so you definitely do not want to let your Nino get panic ployed. And now I'm going to be putting Olivia here as well. And uh, let's put Nino in the range of these mages. So obviously um, this uh, green cavalier is going to be attacking Nino. This blue mage is not going to be attacking her because she's got the weapon strangle advantage. So let's end our turn. So that ninja is going to be using that rally and yeah this green cavalier is going to be attacking us. The reason why I turned off the animation is because uh, in this whole match pretty much Klein is going to be shooting things. So now what we can do is just take okay. out this uh, of course. green cavalier with Klein just like that. Right. You stance, take out this uh, ninja with Klein and now he has got his glacies ready. So if you've got a 3 star special on your Brave Bow Archer, then you can just attack this blue mage um, if your Brave Bow Archer cannot take him out without that, because my client certainly cannot. He does uh, 42 damage to this blue mage, so I'd really need uh, Glacies for this. And uh, Ephraim is of course going to be following Erika wherever she goes like a good brother, but we do want to separate them, so I can just use Escape Route 1 and put Nino here. So you want to put your Nino on this tile, if I put my Nino on this tile, then both of them will come down here. And if I put my Nino here, only Erika is going to be coming down and Ephraim is going to be going the other way. So yeah, Ephraim is going to go that way and I did need a 2 plus 3 Sacred Seal to survive uh, this Sword Cavalier. So now we can attack the Sword Cavalier with Klein. 
attack him with Nino, and then use Dance once again, and bring him down to 3 HP, and now Olivia can just take out the Sword Cavalier, so only Eric and Ephraim are left. And like I said, the AI might change their movement depending on the IVs of your units, so that's why I've got this match at the end of the video, and that's why I just went with the um, first match where I had neutral IV units. So we can just attack Erika with Klein, proc Glacies and do quite a lot to her, and we can attack Ephraim with uh, Nino from here, and we can just use Dance on our two offensive units, and that is gonna be it. So Klein can take out Erika, and Nino can take out Ephraim. And uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you have any kind of trouble, then let me know in the comment section down below. I will try my best to help you. And uh, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. And uh, if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on more Fire Emblem Heroes content, which I'm going to be uploading in future. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.